A lot of people out there are praying for rain. We got reports coming in from around the United States about how the drought is affecting uh, farming communities as well as farmers. We're going to be hearing directly from some of them. We're also going to be hearing from the Netherlands about uh, weather affecting the crops over there as well as what food shortages on the store shelves look like over there. We're going to be getting a quick rundown from you guys on what uh, shortages of grapes are, what, what that's looking like across the United States. We've got a whole bunch of updates. We're going to jump into them right away. Welcome to the Poplar Report. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, if you're coming back, welcome back. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade, so we go through numbers and we give you primary information so that you can make decisions about what you think things are. I give you guys the way you guys are reporting it so you can make decisions on how relevant you think things are and everything like that. Uh, please do the hit the thumbs up button if you like this type of reporting uh, and if you hate the mainstream media, right? Let's jump right into the reports here. Pauline at Walmart in Northern California says uh, things have been low on stock for months. Uh, I talked to my delivery person and she said no inventory in May, uh, uh, sorry, in many things, and nobody's telling her why. So delivery person seeing a lot of shortages, a lot of items missing. Uh, who's your prepping nurse? Uh, obviously in <laughs> Indiana, but Northeast Indiana. Um, it's been three weeks since we had rain and more, none has been forecasted for the next week. It's been in the low 90s. Normally highs are in the high 70s, but now in the 90s, right? Uh, even the local newscasters are saying to pray for rain. When you hear the Hoosiers out in Indiana praying for rain, we know we need some water. Uh, Kathy in the state of Wisconsin says uh, the state of Wisconsin is in pretty rough shape for drought. The farmers are still planting corn and other grains, yet we all are getting soil dust everywhere. Not to mention all the smoke uh, for the next two days. Uh, air quality is really bad, so with no rain and all these problems with air quality and drought, we are really fighting a tough battle. The Canadian smoke uh, arrived here last night. Yikes. Please keep all in prayer. And then this is from Yelena over in the Netherlands. I live in the Netherlands. Uh, First, we have, um, have, have had a very wet spring. So uh, California has been very wet and Netherlands have been very wet. Uh, but Spain is super, super dry. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm interjecting. But the last month, uh, we did not have rain and no rain coming soon. Farmers uh, could not plant all of their seeds. Farmers on sand soil... Uh, have to harvest potatoes by the 1st of October uh, due to insane nitrogen rules. I mentioned that in a previous video talking about the p coming potato shortages. Um, I have some vegetables in my garden and some are not growing well while we have um, cold wind from the north. Nights are chill. Uh, I live in the middle of the country and the coming week uh, I have warm weather. So we'll see about that. But, uh, uh, but the north and west of the country are still rather cold. Uh, last days, I dried herbs uh, from my garden. Parsley, celery, lavas, and oregano. You can do this in your car. Uh, no electricity needed. So if you are looking to grow some, um, some things, you can use your car as a greenhouse if you need to keep things warm. That's a good tip out there. Um, and this is coming from a viewer. Uh, speaking of home insurance, uh, this is another tip. Uh, my premium just jumped nine hundred dollars for. I'm not selling you home. I'm not selling you insurance, okay? Um, but this person, uh, my premium just jumped nine hundred dollars for no reason on my part. No claims in fifteen years. I contacted, uh, connected with another company with an A plus rating uh, for some coverage, uh, deductible, and get this: half the new premium uh, of my old company. Please look into your homeowner's insurance costs. You may be pleasantly surprised. So, folks, if you see a, uh, your company uh, boosting your rate on your homeowner's insurance or other insurance, especially all those things that just re-up all the time, you should, you should watch out for them. Your internet, your phone. Sometimes if you just give them a call and complain a little bit, they'll drop your price down. Verizon's notorious for that. Uh, if you have like Verizon internet like I do, um, every time your promotional... 
uh, rate goes off, just just give them a call. Uh, otherwise, they just start creeping it up. I've I've seen them do that when I've done taxes and everything like that. I've seen that do to that to people. They'll like jack it up by like six cents every month. It's just ridiculous um, what they do, and they, they just hope you don't notice. Um, but when you call them, then they then they cut it back down. So uh, and there's a lot of places out there. Or just go find another company. If it's insurance, you can do that pretty easily. Um, this is Patina. Uh, update. AutoZone was almost out of brake fluid. They said they're having trouble getting it in. Before we get on to the other um, updates, I uh, want to give a thanks to our sponsor, uh, Genesis Gold Group. Uh, they do a fantastic job. They partner with us for a whole year. And um, help us get out the word of what's going on and everything like that. They help people who have retirement funds. And I want to keep reiterating this because a lot of you aren't hearing me on this. If you have retirement funds, IRAs, 401ks, where your money is locked in there and you don't have many options sometimes, if you move it over to an IRA with Genesis Gold, you can move it into physical metals, silver and gold, platinum, whatever you want. Um, and they do have to stay deposited because it's a retirement account, but they can walk you through and give you some options on that. Perhaps the best option for you to do is to liquidate your retirement funds. That's up to you, um, but you might want to talk to them about that. Um, you can find them down in the description down below. Uh, from Michael in mid-Michigan, he says, uh, my, my, my wife is frugal uh, as a clothes shopper and only buys from discount stores or clearance racks. Uh, she has noticed that the amount of clothing and other goods is getting less and less available. Also, it seems that the stores have less discount uh, each change of season, and discount prices seem not to drop as fast as in the past. Furthermore, uh, one of the discount stores has reduced floor space over the last year or so um, to just about half the size that it was. This tells me that they can't find buyouts from other retailers to sell in their stores. This tells me that the uh, days of cheap, abundant goods are coming to an end. Also, the local one-stop supermarket is doing a remodel and removing the front of the store. I'm talking about 40 feet deep uh, by the entire store length. This is not the only chain uh, doing this type of work to their stores. And we're hearing that again and again. Floor space and shelf space in stores around the country um, and around the world are disappearing. Uh, Christina in Warsaw, Missouri, says uh, Walmart, uh, they were out of horseradish and lemons. Uh, let's jump into some updates on grapes from you guys. Let's hit you with this real fast. Uh, no grapes at Aldi's in Iowa. Largo, Florida. Walmart grocery and no grapes. Uh, PG, uh, no grapes in Co uh, Costco, Central Valley, California. Grape country. So no grapes in grape country in California. And then uh, this is from Blue, uh, Blue River Country. They say uh, there still isn't any grapes here in central Indiana. So Indiana, uh, California, Florida, and Iowa. That gives us a pretty good spread there. A number of you guys else uh, chimed in on that as well. But uh, this is from Genfa, produce manager here in northern Maine. Two weeks of no green grapes, getting red grapes okay. Uh, no, reason, no reason given by corporate yet. And this is from Junior, uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Went to Aldi and no sugar again. It's been two weeks since they had any. They took away the tag and uh, placed two liter <laughs> soda in its place. Two liter bottles of soda in its spot. Um, well, I guess it's basically the same thing. They just add water to the sugar, right? Uh, when, I see, when I see some in the future, I'm going to buy uh, 10 bags of sugar. This is from Ewok Jerky. Uh, Mid-Missouri, Lowe's and Home Depot. All the grapevines they had for sale looked 100% dead. Not hibernating, dead. Uh, when they sell them uh, like this, typically half of them are actively growing. They took them off the store shelves and stopped trying to sell them. Uh, this was about six weeks ago. Normally, uh, they have a second wave of vine sales along with blackberries and blueberries, but not this year. That's right, folks. They don't want you growing your own food. I mean, they don't want you independent. That's just the way it is. Glad I got my grapes started last year. Good for you. Uh, I actually have a 
a grapevine myself. I kind of inherited it when I bought my house. Uh, Diane says, uh, I, I went to our Upper Michigan Walmart yesterday. I haven't been there for a couple of weeks, and I was concerned about the many shortages. Uh, there was only one bag of 20 pound, a 20 pound bag of flour uh, or pinto beans and jasmine rice. There were uh, a few smaller bags of these, uh, these things, um, a smaller, a few, sorry, let me read that again. There were a few smaller bags of these things too. Uh, there was no six pack uh, packs of tuna. Canned beans were very limited. Uh, there, there were very few uh, food saver bags and none of the larger food bags. I was only in the store a short time, but I saw many shortages throughout the grocery section. Uh, my main concern is that the shelves were all uh, shortened uh, and with not very much room allotted to many items. Once again, that is in Upper Michigan. Uh, please do keep your reports coming. A lot of people find these really helpful, and we want to keep them getting out to you. Uh, as long as people want that information, we want to make sure that that continues to be available. Uh, just use the word update in, uh, in a comment and give us some sort of geographical location so people can figure out uh, whereabouts that shortage is. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out another video, there's another video right here on the screen. I'll see you over there, or I'll see you later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.